All right, this is chapter six, lesson one. It's the guided practice questions from page 440. Uh, we're starting out on algebraic equations, so I want to kind of go back to um, grade school and kind of explain what this is. N plus six equals eight. Now, I know you guys know the answer to this. The answer is obviously two, two plus six equals eight. But they started out in grade school with kind of a lot of times this box. Box plus six equals eight, and we want to find out what's in the box. Now. That's really essentially what we're doing, and now we're moving into an algebraic understanding saying that a letter is the unknown. If we don't know that number, or if the number that's going to be changing often, we're going to use a variable. So now I have this variable that unknown, plus 6 equals 8. We're going to follow those same three steps that we've talked about, leave, change, opposite, distributive property, combine like terms. Those are the, the three steps to simplify. We're going to follow those. We don't need any, any of those on this one but I would be looking for them. Once I do that, I'm going to find the variable, and I'm going to find what was done to the variable, and I don't want to do it. Somebody already did this problem. I want to undo it. So I want to undo plus 6. I want to subtract 6. And whatever I do to one side of an equation, I need to do to the other, because that keeps them balanced. As long as, think about it like a scale. As long as you do something to both sides, that same exact thing to both sides, it'll stay balanced. So when I subtract 6 over here, those cancel out. They become an n plus zero, or in other words, it's identity. Over here, eight minus six is two, so n equals two. And so, once again, back to grade school, that's what was in that box at two. So it doesn't matter which side the variable is on. So if this time the variable's over here, it doesn't matter. In fact, you could actually write this as y plus two equals seven. That doesn't make a difference which side it's on, as long as it's equal. All right, so once again, I would look for leave, change, opposite, distributed property, combined like terms, don't need it this time. So what is the opposite, or how do I undo what's with the variable? Well, what's with the variable is plus 2, so I'm going to subtract 2, and I'm going to do it to both sides. Those cancel out, and I'm left with y equals the answer to this, which is 5. So y equals 5. That's how we write our answers, by the way. <clears throat> Next one, I do have a subtraction, so I'm just going to get started by doing leave, change, opposite, distributed property, combined like terms. Once again, don't need any of that stuff, but I see that there was one thing done to this C. They added a negative 6. What's the opposite? Now, this is where you got to be careful. You only want to change one sign to do the opposite. If you change both sides, your signs you're doing leave, change opposite, but we just want to subtract negative 6. Notice I changed only one sign. Now, I know, and you know, that minus a negative 6 is the same as plus a positive, so now I'll do leave, change opposite, and now I get different signs subtract, sign of the larger, so C equals negative 1, or negative 1 equals C. And once again, anytime you have these, you can always plug your answers back in to make sure they work. So if I put 2 back in, n plus 2, well 2 plus 6 I mean is 8. If I put in 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. If I put in negative 1, negative 1 minus 6, or negative 1 plus negative 6 is negative 7. Those are one-step algebraic equations using addition and subtraction. So here's the second lesson. Um, chapter 6, this is the guided practice from page 450. Now we're dealing with multiplication division problems, but it's the same essential thing. Well, here I have a coefficient. That means multiply, right? So once again, I don't want to know what 6 times C is. There, somebody already did that. I'm going to undo it. What's the opposite or the inverse operation of multiplication? Division. So once again, I do it to both sides, and I get these cancel out. They become 1. 1C one is its identity. So C equals 3. And once again, you can plug it back in. 6 times 3 is 18. Same thing here. doesn't matter which side the variable is on. I identify it and what was done times negative 8. So I divide by negative 8 to undo what somebody else already did. It becomes 1. They cancel out. And I'm left with X equals negative 3. And once again, if you plug it back in, negative 8 times negative 3. That's two negatives, which makes a positive 24. So I continue. Identify the variable. What they did, somebody uh, multiplied by 7, so I'm going to divide by 7. Do the exact same thing to both sides. That cancels out. I'm left with m equals negative 4. This is the one that most people will miss. They'll see this p divided by 9 equals 9, and they'll think the answer is 1. But look, if you put a 1 there, 1 divided by 9 is not 9. 1 divided by 9 is 1 ninth. So once again, Here's the variable. What did they do? They divided by 9, so let me take it times 9 on both sides to undo what they did. Those cancel out, and you get p equals 81. 
Once again, people will put one down, but you have to understand what's going on here. A divided by 12, that means somebody already divided. I need to undo divide by 12 by multiplying by 12 on both sides. And so A equals negative 36. And if you plug it back in, what's negative 36 divided by 12? Negative 3. Once again, they divided by negative 10, so I'm going to multiply by negative 10 on both sides. Those cancel out on this side, so I'm just left with an N on this side. On this side, I'm left with 40. And if you do that, 40 divided by negative 10 is negative 4, and it works out. So once again, one-step equations, you find out what the variable is and what they did to it, and then you undo it by doing the opposite, the opposite operation. So let me go over that real quickly. What undoes addition? Subtraction. What undoes subtraction? Addition. What undoes multiplication? Division. What undoes division? Multiplication. Those are called inverse operations. They, it undoes what was already done.